Auburn has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. Arkansas's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Strings it out left, and he stopped right away. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Hey, kill, kill, kill. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. Found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. The sack makes this a fourth and very low. It's away and it's a booming punt. Tackle made at the 42. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup and come out a bit more motivated next time. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He lets it fly. And he's level at the 20. That's a first down as they hooked up on the deep route. And the defender just got outrun and outplayed by the receiver. He wanted it more, and that allowed him to make a heck of a play. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. From their own nine-yard line, first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 19 was the intended receiver on the play. They line up at the nine. Third down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime packet. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. And down he goes at the 48. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Here's the 
thrown. I don't think he got anything on that. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Let's go, let's go. Yo, no. Check 50, check 50. <laughs> And down he goes at the 32. Yeah, Brad, we kind of get a chess match right now going on between the offense and defensive coordinators out there. And the defense tried to bring pressure to try to surprise the quarterback, but the offense, give them credit. They anticipated that and came up with that big first down. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. And that's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 33-yard line. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And he is drilled at the 29. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Auburn could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. And the question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses. But I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They hand it off. Runs it left for a decent game. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. From their own 38 yard line, second down. He's out of bounds around the 47 yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at the 45. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Number 26 makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. That brings him second and five. My five, my five. Dog four. Hit. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. Game of 12 on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. Four down, four down. My five, my five. Go. Throws in a hurry. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. This is the ninth play of this drive. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down around the 15 yard line. Number 19 brings him down at the 15 yard line. First down. 
After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 3-0, Auburn. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Check 82. Watch 82. Ball's coming to 82. My five. Here we go. 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 Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Here's the 11th play of the drive. My five. My five. Go four. Hit. Hit seven. Run, 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 run. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds right around the six-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. And he tackles him hard at the four. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Check, check. And they got him for a loss. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. And this is the 15th play of a very solid drive. They bring the quarterback down. Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. My five, my five. Green nine, green nine. That's a great tackle at the 19 yard line. Arkansas is looking to tie things up. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Here we go, check in motion. Quick strike to the back, no good. That brings up third and 10. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Here's the... Nope, they snap into the up back. He's taken down at the 46. 
Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. From the 48-yard line, second down. Stand back there and take hits like that, you're definitely going to feel it the next day. Third and long now after the sack. He's under pressure. Aaron and out long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Oh, excellent punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they push him out at the 23. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Ready? He makes it to the 42-yard line. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. It's second and nine. Ball on the 42. Open field, tackle made at the 47. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Back screen, incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Great job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll work the left. He's to the 10. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 18-yard line.
first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 18. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Gets it. He's in space. He's knocked out of bounds around the 26 yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. He steps up. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete. Almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Mike five, Mike five. They'll go ground. They go to the left for a nice game. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up the first down and allows him to continue to work this clock. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick pass. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Tackle at the 23 yard line. The Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. He gets it up, and it is good. We've played a half. The Tigers lead 6-3. and David welcome back everybody just about set to start the second half he really got a hold of that kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback every single time this offense has the ball they're moving the football but they're settling for field goals and every time they settle for field goals I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns that's a bad sign And down he goes, around the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Auburn holds a field goal lead. Yeah, let's go, Red Line. Shift, shift. 25, check 25, check 25. And he's level at the 24-yard line. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. Steps out of bounds around the 40-yard line and a quick throw. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. He gets sacked on the play. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Check four, check four. My five, my five, my five. Here's the give, and he is drilled at the 36 yard line. Gaining three yards. That brings us third and 14. My five, my five. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. And that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. 
These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 30. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 34. That'll bring up third and six. Brought down at the 40-yard line. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. That makes it first and 10. First and 10, ball on the 40. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Black five, Black five go. Let's it go. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. It's a yard on the run. Come on, I'm on. Mike Bond, Mike Bond. They'll spread the field with five wide. Green nine, go! They'll make the sack. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Third down again. Throws this one out to the left. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven play, 71 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, hurry up tempo offense, and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl game and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. That brings up second and nine. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Yellow guys. 25, check 25. <laughs> Pass right, running backs got it. Tackled for a loss. Call a loss of six yards on the play. That makes it third and 15. From their own 20 yard line. Third down. Five wide. Check, check, check. Down. Blue nerd. And they make the stop at the 39. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got a man. Watch out here. They 
come out in a five wide set. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He's out of bounds and about the 23-yard line. Makes it out to about the 13. They need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. From the 10 yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. No good. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. The Tigers lead it 13-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike five, Mike five. Black five, black five, X seven. Fires it out, and he's immediately tackled. Number six with the tackle at the 49-yard line. That, that makes it first and ten. ten. What was From their own 49-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's at the 30 for the 20, and he's tackled at the 17-yard line. That's a game of 34 on the way. First down. So we've got a first down after a great running play. 
They come out on an empty backfield. Red two. Red. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he almost has the INT. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. Going right to his tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He lets it fly. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. Tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. Gain of one yard. My five, my five. That brings up second and nine. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Hey, watch the left. Hey, he's back. Check 50, check 50. Catches it, and he's looking for more. That's a great tackle at the 19-yard line. second and 13. From the 22-yard line, second down. Hey, we got tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Check four down. down. Four. Yeah, eight. Four. Four. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 15. Less than three minutes in the game. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The ball, the ball. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Auburn lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Mike five. Black five, black five, X seven. He's wrapped up for the sack.
trailing here in the fourth quarter a vital third down and very long. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Throwing right. And I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Just under two minutes in the game. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Arkansas is going to take their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. A gain of eight on the carry. Tackle at about the three-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback, Arkansas. We'll have one timeout remaining. Touchdown, Tigers. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 12-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For Auburn, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead the defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time let's see what they do this opportunity you know, the last time this offense was out of the field they went for it on fourth down brad and they came up short i think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe to just punch the ball to change the field position that makes it second and ten second and ten Ball on the 25-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he was able to throw the ball away. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Throws it to the outside. And he snags that one. To the 20. And he shoved out of bounds around the 8-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Four down, four down. Mike Farr, Mike Farr. Green nine, green nine. Orange three, orange three. Rose and he's got a man touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is in a game this close, who's going to crack first? Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. 
It was a five-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. The Razorbacks have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Under a minute left. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Black five, black five. Black five, black five. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Check, check. Dance, dance. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and that gives them the lead. The Razorbacks knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for them in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. And he adds the extra point. A short three-play, 55-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Arkansas to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The thing you got going for you defensively, you know your offense is doing their job. You just have to do yours. Yeah, I think one time you have to be able to go out there on the field together and look around and say, guys, I know we're not playing well, but just one stop. The way our offense is playing, if we can come up with one stop, we can win this game. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 33. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's going left. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. Fumble, loose ball. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Tigers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Arkansas is up by four. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Well, the Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. Three down, three down. Mike five. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three. 25, check 25, check 25. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Arkansas staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happier. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.